hello guys welcome again to our channel right now and uh, there's a lot of uh, politics that has been ongoing they impeached regarding gachagua and they saw they swear in uh, kitura kintiki so there come an instance whereby it seems that kitura kintiki will be the next president of the republic of kenya because odm are the ones who planned the impeachment of regarding gachagua and ruto fall into their trap and therefore it is now time for Ruto to be impeached. Can you watch this video? Mimi niliuliza baba sasa tunaenda kufanya vita za wengine. Sisi tulikuwa nataka hao wote waende nyumbani. Wewe unatutuma kuenda ku, kuingilia kwa vita za wengine? Baba akasema kama mlikuwa nataka wote waende nyumbani na mmoja ndio huyu amejitokeza. Simfukuza huyu kwanza rais. Alafu tuandamane na huyu mwingine. Kwa sababu wakiwa pamoja sio raisi kuwapeleka, sindio? He, sasa tumetafuta mmoja, tumepeleka. Uyu mwingine, he, achunge bana. Hamebaki bila nguo, kila kitu. Achunge sana. Sasa hiyo ndiyo kazi tulipewa na baba. Wala ambao mulikuwa mnasema oo oh, kwa hini mnapiga yesu. Muni same, nilifata amri ya baba. Mimi niliuliza baba, sasa tunaenda kufanya vita za wengine. Sisi tulikuwa nataka hao wote waende nyumbani. Wewe unatutuma kuenda ku, kuingilia kwa vita za wengine? Baba akasema kama mlikuwa nataka wote waende nyumbani na mmoja ndio huyu amejitokeza. Simfukuza huyu kwanza, rais. Alafu tuandamane na huyu mwingine. Kwa sababu wakiwa pamoja sio rais kuwapeleka, sindio? He, sasa tumetafuta mmoja, tumepeleka. Huyu mwingine, he, achunge bana. Amebaki bila nguo, kila kitu. Achunge sana. Sasa hiyo ndiyo kazi tulipewa na baba. Wala ambao mulikuwa mnasema oo oh, kwa hini mnapiga yesu. Muni same nilifata amri ya baba. Yeah, William Ruto is in big problem after he impeached his deputy regarding Gachagua. And his nomination of, he has been nominating ODM guys into his government. He doesn't know that he has fallen into their trap. He will always do whatever they want, whatever they need. That clip has very shown has shown us that ODM is ready to do anything to make sure that Ruto is also home before 2027. There will be an election before 2027. So just beware, Ruto will be gone, Wetangula will be gone, and I don't know what is, is in store for these guys because uh, this government was not meant to last for up to 2027, and it is emerging that the guys are going because when Caleb Amisi speaks he speaks like he was conversing with Raila Odinga he has leaked something juicy news to Kenyans that Ruto is the next in line to be impeached I don't know if ODM will pull that string to remove Moses Wetangula also next I, I heard that they want to remove also Ndindi Nyoro and Kimani Chungwa from their posts in the parliament and therefore I see a very a lot of interesting politics in this country. It is becoming more and more interesting, guys, for sure. More and more interesting. So, do you think uh, Ruto will be impeached? Do you think he fall into the trap of ODM? Do you think ODM has the numbers to impeach Ruto? You can let us know in the comments below. And uh, let us hope that uh, this thing we, we need Kenya to be stable. We don't want any problem. So if ruto is trying to pull this fall into the trap of odm we are sorry for him but whatever he did to gachagua he also disturbed uhuru so much and therefore it is it is his time to face the music and to face the wrath of the system you understand so uh, it is unfortunate that caleb amisi has leaked raila odinga's uh, uh, plan and I know maybe Ruto will plan ahead but it is already done Ruto's goose is cooked and uh, we hope that he will be removed from the seat we pray that he will be removed because he has failed as a president Rigadi was not good but he himself is not good either for the country you know he is very arrogant and it is either his way or the highway that's why 
he is changing everything the sheep i don't know what what is changing a lot of parastatals it's just changing help so he's not working for kenyans he's there to amass wealth of which we are not able to continue with this gap 2027 but remember if Ruto sells to 2027 and if he manages to dance to the music of Raila Odinga, he will have to dance to the music or be impeached. Raila Odinga is demanding to be given the Speaker of the National Assembly. They will remove Wetangula. Raila Odinga is demanding for Junet Mohammed to be the Minister for Interior to replace uh, Kiture Kindiki. If Ruto will not give these positions, he will, for now, he will have to do whatever Raila Odinga says or not. He has to do it. So that is the problem that Ruto is in right now. We are sorry for him, but now it is his time. Yeah. So if he doesn't give Raila whatever he wants, it means that he will be impeached. And we are sorry for that. He is going to be impeached if he doesn't dance to the tone of Raila Odinga. But if he dances to the tone of Raila Odinga, I see him being elected again in 2027 because all Raila Odinga followers are usually loyal and they will vote the direction that Raila Odinga tells them. It means that if he dances to the Raila Odinga music, Ruto is likely to be re-elected in 2027, regardless of the economic system that Kenyans are going through, economic hardships. Remember, Ruto was to be a one-term president but if he he follows the odm what odm needs he will be able to clinch the presidency again in 2027 up to 2032 that one is a fact because uh he will get some votes from Raila. but remember if raila odinga goes to the au and loses the seat it means ruto is in big problem for sure i'm telling you guys Ruto will be in big problem because uh, uh, Raila did not leave the ODM party. He said he's leaving national politics, but for sure he's still the party leader of ODM. It means if he fails in the AU, he will come back and he will be on the ballot. And he is likely to get his own supporters still to be on his side. Ruto will have lost Mount Kenya, therefore he will only have Rift Valley and Kalonzo will get some votes from Mount Kenya if he will be on the ballot. So it means Raila Odinga is likely to win the presidency come 2020, 2027 if he will lose the AU chairmanship. That is my take guys. You can let us know in the comments below what you think and remember to subscribe to this channel. Kindly subscribe to this channel guys make sure you just hit the subscribe button and like the video you can also hit the notification bell so that once we produce a video like this youtube will automatically notify you guys we also have a blog called nyongesasunday.com whereby we post news and all other guides it is a general blog you can get information from that blog you can read interesting stories you can listen to kenyan radio stations you can watch kenyan television on the same website guys kindly support our work and we will be very happy to continue giving you whatever you need on your gadget on your computer so that you keep entertained so that you you can learn also for for, for our blog it is a guide you can learn a lot of things from there it is like a school so nyongesasunday.com is a general blog with all categories thank you so much guys and remember to subscribe let us know what you think about this uh, analysis and uh, if you, you you can also advise us on how we can go about it we are here to give you the best and we are listening to whatever you tell us so thank you so much guys and see you in the next video Mimi nauliza nyinyi kama muko na shida na wakikuyu hamuko na shida na wakikuyu kuliko sisi wa Kalenjin Tuko na shida kubwa zaidi Sawa sawa lakini ikifika mahali unatafautisha maneno unaweka maneno ya tofauti za kijamii kando unatafuta serikali kwanza kwa sababu ile serikali itakusaidia kutatua matatizo ulio naye
lakini kama wewe unakwama mahali moja unasema huyu simpendi na huyo hatoki Kenya atakuwa hapo siku ya kupiga kura atapiga kura hata na yeye sasa wewe utafanya namna gani mimi nataka niwaambie maneno mnayoona umuhumu isiwatie wasiwasi isiwatie wasiwasi tutahakikisha ya kwamba Kenya hii inazidi kuwa ni Kenya ya amani, Kenya ya maendeleo, Kenya ya umoja na Kenya ya ushirikiano. Hatuwezi kukubali Kenya irudi mahali pa ukabila. That one I want to give you my word.